Okay, this third part is more serious. This is something more serious. This is definitely not a laughing matter. Um, this part, God is, is explaining what the kingdom of God is like. He's addressing a lot of stuff. This is more preparation for um, the end times and something to just know as a child of God. Because as his child, um, these things is going to happen to us. These things are going to happen um, uh, as men, um, as a whole for mankind um, or for mankind as a whole. However, it's very important for a child of God to know um, what what to expect, you know, and especially now you know we're living in the last days i believe and according to the scriptures um so this is important to know so when i read this i i got excited but this is definitely not a laughing matter um none of it is really but this is a little more serious from all the other three parts amen so this is uh luke chapter 17 verse 20 and this one is a little longer so bear with me but hear what god is saying amen now when he acts I'm sorry. Now, when he was asked by the Pharisees, when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them and said, the kingdom of God does not come with observation, nor will they say, see here, exclamation mark, or see there, exclamation mark, for indeed the kingdom of God is within you. Amen. Um, then he said to the disciples, the days will come when you will desire to see one of the days of the son of, of men and you will not see it. And they will, will say to you, look here, exclamation mark, and look there. Isn't that what's happening now today? Do not go after them or follow them. For as the lightning that flashes out of one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so also the son of man will be in his day. But first he must suffer many things and be rejected by the generation or by this generation. I'm sorry. Verse 26. Where am I stopping at? Okay. And as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be also in the days of the son of man. They ate, they drank, they married wives. They were given uh, in marriage until the day that Noah entered the ark. Mm. Basically, they kept living. Noah was preaching what was to come and, and stuff like that, trying to prepare the people and stuff for years. And they just up until the day that Noah entered the ark on the day that God is really getting ready to close the door of the of the ark or, or, or Noah, you know, up until the time where it came. They marrying, they drinking, they partying, they living like, you know, they, they living like, you know, nothing is happening because for them, they, they didn't, they didn't, you know, they didn't take heed to what, what Noah was saying. So this is what that's, this is saying. Um, it says, unto the day that Noah entered the ark, um, I'm going to read it again. Verse 27, they ate, they drank, they married wives. They were given in marriage unto the day that Noah entered the, the ark. And the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, as it was also in the day of Lot, um, they ate, they drank, they brought, they brought, bought, um, they sold, they planted, they built. Whew. But on the day, but on the day that uh, Lot went out of Solomon, it rained fire and brimstone from heaven and destroyed them all. Even so, will it be in the day? when the son of man is revealed in that day, he who is on the housetop and his goods are in the house, let him not come, come down to take them away. And likewise, the one who is in the field, let him not return back. Remember Lot's wife. Let me pause right there. So if you don't know the, the, um, the story of Lot. And so basically that's Abraham cousin, I highly encourage you to uh, read that story so you can better understand. And this is important because like I said, this is, and this is written in, in red. This is Jesus giving us instructions of what to come as a child of God. So this is very, very important. Go back and read um, lots. So it's basically um, lot was lot journey, lot, um, his family and his wife and stuff like that. They journeyed with Abraham and, um, it was um, 
on a particular day that they decided to go they, their separate ways. Basically, Lot, Lot, Lot in his situation became a lot for Abraham. So they they departed ways, and um, Abraham was gracious enough to say, "You choose wh whichever way that you want to go, and we'll take the other way." And so definitely go back and read it so you can understand this, and so that you you know. Yeah, we have to we have to know. We have to be approved. You get what I'm saying? Study to show yourself approved. We have to be approved for who we are, which is children of God. Amen. That's new. <laughs> um, so verse 32, remember Lot's wife. Whoever seeks to save his life will lose it, and whoever loses his life will preserve it. I tell you in the in the night, I'm sorry, I tell you in that night there will be two men in one bed. The one will be taken and the other will be left. Two women will be uh, grinding together. Grinding together. The one will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding. I, I may be mispronouncing that. I don't know. They're they going to be chilling together. Let's just say that. And the one will be taken and the other left. Um, two men will be in the field. The one will be taken and the other left. Um, and they answered and said to him, where Lord? Question mark. So he said to them, um, wherever the body is, there the eagles will be gathered together. Amen. And that's it. And that's it for your part um, um, three. So hear what God is saying. This is important. Let's um, be aware of this. Let's be prepared of this. Um, yes, let's 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 let people know this. Amen. Let's spread the gospel. Amen. Let's spread the the kingdom of God. Amen. <laughs>